My name is Alejandro Rangel. People just call me Al. Uh, I'm a firefighter for Middleton Fire, and I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran. One of the things that I wasn't prepared for, uh, that I feel the Marine Corps uh, didn't really prepare us for, was the coming home aspect and dealing with some of the things that maybe you weren't expected to, to deal with or, or didn't anticipate happening. Back in 2004, I was deployed to Afghanistan as a member of 3rd Battalion, 6th Marines, and I was uh, up manning an OP with a few uh, other Marines, and it was early in the morning, it was still dark, it was maybe, you know, three o'clock in the morning when we were uh, attacked with small arms fire and rockets. From our observation post, I was able to see, get eyes on the location from where we were getting hit with rockets. It was coming from a village. My job was to eliminate that target, to essentially uh, protect my my fellow Marines. I got on the horn and I called for uh, fire and our mortars responded. The rest of the morning obviously was chaotic. There was a lot of you know things that we had to uh, rebound from. We started kind of seeing these silhouettes approach our, our, our gate. As the silhouettes become more clear we realize that it's just the, the villagers and they're carrying something. We can tell that it's two women and uh, an older fellow. The woman gives him the, the bundle and he takes it. I just happened to be the closer one to, to these individuals and the old man, he hands me this, this bundle and he's sort of pleading for, for help. He hands me this bundle, I open the, the blanket and it's a little girl who is gone. I felt absolutely terrible especially when it's in my arms and I, it's, I, it's, it's a very tangible um, evidence of, of what I had done. It's a very heavy thing to carry in that moment and also in the years after. There were moments in which I didn't want to come home. I sort of wished that I would die in combat. I didn't feel like I was worthy or, or deserving to come home after that. I would, I would um, you know, deal with these things in a very cliche, very common way. I, I drank a lot of alcohol. I realized that I needed to go get help. It's not just being around people that you know have struggled. We need to talk about these things and we need to have gain tools to be able to overcome them. As first responders, as military personnel, as teachers, coaches, as human beings, we need to address mental health issues early on and give people a fighting chance to live happy and fulfilling lives.